welcome back to the channel. This is the River Severn, and beside it is the remarkably pretty Shropshire town of Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury is the town where one of England's most brilliant minds was born in 1809, Charles Darwin. So, why are we here? Well, this part of the world was actually a hotbed of very early association football. Multiple organised clubs formed in this part of the world long before football cultures emerged in nearby larger towns such as Manchester and Liverpool. There is also an interesting tale to tell about a unique event that happened within the town that affected two clubs that were competing in the 1873 FA Cup. It's a tale that needs to be told. So, let's get to it. On the 30th of October 1873, Sheffield FC played Shropshire Wanderers in the first round of the FA Cup. 600 spectators witnessed a 0-0 draw at Sheffield's Bramall Lane. A few weeks later, Sheffield FC made their way south to Shrewsbury in order to play the replay. The replayed match took place on the 17th of November at Shrewsbury's race course, which was located just northeast of Shrewsbury Centre. Again, the score was 0-0. 100 spectators this time attended the match to witness the continued deadlock between the two clubs. Despite losing Ellison and Wake, Shropshire Wanderers couldn't break down the nine Sheffield FC men left on the pitch. The location of the pitch was, judging from this old photo, most likely in front of the main racecourse grandstand and racetrack, and positioned slightly more to the left-hand side of the grandstand. After the racecourse stopped hosting races, the pitch location later became a school. That school has now been converted into private accommodations. The racecourse grandstand where the players will have prepared and got changed is now also private housing and businesses. So what next? Who should go through to the second round to face North London's Pilgrims in a home tie? A match scheduled to take place in just five days time. Both teams dined together after the match in the centre of Shrewsbury at the Raven Hotel. The location of the hotel was not far from the railway station on Castle Street, just west of the junction with Windsor Place. The exact location of where the Raven Hotel was is here. The site is now an H&M's and a fish and chip shop. At some point during the evening, the two captains, John Hawley Edwards of Wanderers and Harry Chambers of Sheffield, decided that the toss of a coin would determine who would progress in the competition. The coin toss created two footballing firsts. The first club to be knocked out of the FA Cup by the toss of a coin and the first club to progress as the result of a toss of a coin. Sheffield FC won the toss, making them the latter. Sheffield FC went on to reach the third round, eventually losing in the quarter-finals to Clapham Rovers at Peterborough. Shropshire Wanderers had more success the following season, reaching the semi-finals, only to lose against Old Etonians. This makes them the most successful Shropshire club in the competition so far in history. To remember this unique occasion in FA Cup history, there are currently plans to erect a brand new statue in the centre of Sheffield. Maybe in a couple of months' time, if you find yourself walking through the city centre, you will come across this marvellous monument to remember. A unique FA Cup footballing moment. A coin toss to decide the club to progress and the other to quite literally be tossed out. Till next time.